Hey guys, uh, I'm Edwin and today I'm going to show you how to retouch uh, a portrait using Lightroom and uh, Photoshop and one little tool called uh, uh, it's a retouch panel keep forgetting what its name is it's called Venus retouch panel so um, let's start I'll be explaining what's happening as we go on and feel free to follow what I'm doing right now as we go on okay so first we find a nice picture uh, so we've I've edited a few of these so I'm gonna try and find a new one that I haven't retouched yet uh, I think I like this picture and always make sure the picture is in uh, focus so you need to make sure the eyes are in focus and this looks pretty good everything is in focus so we are going to edit this so uh, press D to go to the developer options um, and here uh, before anything else I like to read, uh, to crop the picture just a little bit and uh, to do that press R to bring in the crop options and uh, I like 4x3 because it's good for Instagram one by one is better but four by three is pretty good too okay so uh, when i press done then uh, in the quick in the quick edits uh sometimes you could just press auto and it will do its magic but nah let's go manual it looks horrible when you do that so press ctrl z i like to reduce the shadows after this just just a little bit or oh, a lot then uh see uh, hmm. okay i'll just increase highlights just a little bit and make it a little bit too uh add the contrast exposure just a little bit and yeah now that that is done i'm going to take it to photoshop and to do that you right click on the image and select edit in photoshop uh, it will automatically take it Photoshop and then it will apply the current the existing edits that we've so far added so uh, this is this is the image in Photoshop um, so I'm gonna press drag it yeah so if we zoom in uh, you will notice her skin is alright but you know we we can do better than this so we need to clean that up and make the skin pop and to do that I use a Venus retouch panel um, and I do frequency separation it's pretty e easy it's uh, better than going all manual in uh, Photoshop I'm not I'm by no means a pro in Photoshop so this makes life much simpler so um, we are gonna blur her skin just a little bit to make it smooth then uh, remove all those scars and then when we're done picture will be amazing that I can guarantee so while we wait for my laptop you can uh, subscribe if you if you like what you see so far you can also like the video if you don't like it you can press that arrow the, the the button but i hope you don't okay let's do this uh so it's going to give you this round round brush uh you can add the hardness this will make it either too blurry or just just enough so i just want to do it just enough you can it depend you can do this depending on uh, how you want your picture to look i don't want it to look artificial so plastic so i want to make it just and the brush uh, the bigger the brush the faster you will move around but then there are those finer details that you can't you can't the, the parts of her like between her eyebrows you can't go through there with a big brush so just 
you can always reduce it and increase it at will. So uh, you just I just increase it a little bit. You know, if you brush a little bit. So um, yeah, just like that. Brush, 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 brush. I'll forward this. So um, yeah, try to avoid her hairs and eyes as much as possible. But do not blur her eyes out. Do not, I repeat, don't do that. Okay, so let's brush. You can see she has some makeup uh, residue on her nose. Okay, um, we'll remove that later. And then brush until you covered all the major parts. Um, by the way, it's important to have uh, a proper mouse. A good mouse. Now I say good mouse, one that is smooth and the mouse part. So um, I'm using an MX Master, so that it it's it's pretty good. It's it's one of the best. Okay, so uh, we are done painting on her skin, and uh, it's good practice to make an extra layer to duplicate the layer, but uh, nah. I don't do that so okay so I switch back to the background layer because you can't uh, you can't clean her skin you can't uh, remove these blemishes while on the on that uh, layer the venous layer okay so um, I'm gonna use the spot healing brush just increase the size and hardness a hundred let's increase the spacing Okay, let's do this. So start by removing all those. So mod we're normal. Yeah, so let's let's clean up. I'll do some more cleaning in uh, in Lightroom if I'm not happy with the results. So just keep going. Uh, just keep going until you're happy with the results. As you can see, the makeup uh, residue is giving me a time, so I'll change. I'll change that later. I'll change the brush to replace it entirely. Okay. And Photoshop is smart enough not to just, you know, replace things. For yeah. Um. I, I'm happy with this. Okay, so I'm done with that. Uh, switch back. Okay, uh, let's zoom out and see. Yeah, she's looking good already. Okay, so noticed on her chest, we didn't brush, uh, we didn't smoothen out her chest. So go back to the layers, uh, frequency separation, paint brush. Let's paint over that. Just make it smooth to match the her face. You don't want her face all looking good, and then the chest is a different story. So I'm also going to remove that. It's not looking too good. Okay, we are done here. So um, just come here, save, and it will take. All these edits and bring them over to Lightroom to create a new picture with the edits and here it is so if you look close enough it's just edited we missed this so I'm gonna use Lightroom I hope it can hmm that's why you don't use Lightroom for such okay so I'm gonna go back to Photoshop and clean that Zoom in. Um, okay, I'm going to spread this just a little bit. Let's confirm I'm on the right layer and then look at that. Okay, then we are going to save. This time it's not going to create a new image, but it's going to come and add it on the same layer. And if you look there, it's gone. You gotta love technology. Okay, 
So now I'll just brighten up my eyes just a little bit to make up to make them pop. Okay, uh, so preset is a uh, teeth whitening. It's the one I use, but yeah, since teeth are white, supposed to be white, uh, it removes the saturation. But now I'm working with eyes, so I'm gonna put saturation saturation back and just just brush over there. Let's I'll just increase the exposure just a little bit. It can't be too bright otherwise. Yeah. And then oh, same thing here. Okay. Yep, uh, there are no teeth to whiten, so would you look at that? Okay, so uh, let's burn her hair. There is a preset for that. Uh, so we're gonna burn and darken. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's make it a little bit. Just a little. Okay. Then I want to expose uh, this area. Oops, this area. Um, and then back to the brush. Now, uh, what's it? The shadows. You want to do reduce the shadows in that area. Shadows. Now yeah, paint them out. Uh, then expose it just a little bit and get rid of the shadows. Don't. Just, just, just enough. And of course, the size of your brush determines your accuracy. Your accuracy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Looking good already. And then also just reduce the shadows around here. Okay. We are good. Okay, um, at this point, the picture is already good. It's looking good already. You you can submit this or deliver. But as you know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna expose her her lips just a little bit, just a little. Uh, let's see, just a little bit. Yeah, and then the service. Okay, exposed, exposed. Now, I want to add some reds in our hair, and therefore I will back here. Uh, color, color, color. Where's color? It is. Mm, gonna add the saturation, just make this a little bit red. Plus, her dress lost some color. Okay, now I am done. Wait, what is that? Look at that. It's below that eye pencil. Carry this. Okay, now it's done. Okay, I want to remove these. Yep, there we are. Picture is fully edited, and we are good to go. So I'm going to export this. Thank you for sticking around with me. If you liked it, please subscribe and turn on the bell notification for more content like this. Peace.